A former Golden Gloves champ turned crime fighter is making his pro boxing debut tomorrow night here in Pittsburgh. And his comeback is thanks, in part, to a former police officer turned gym owner. Ross Gadotti and KDK photojournalist Dave Colabine explain how magic was made when the lives of these two men intersected. Spend a few minutes standing outside Jack's boxing gym in Pittsburgh, and you can almost feel each and every punch. You can certainly hear them. Ready? 30 seconds. Go. There are few words that describe this crucible of combat's owner. Time. Breathe and calm the body. Breathe and calm the body. But tough Don't slow up. is a good choice. Last one. Everything is business in there. Everything. Keep going fast. These days, boxing is Jack Mook's business, but it wasn't always. It just seemed like through boxing, I was giving much more to the community than I was as a police officer and as a detective. Case in point, two brothers, Jesse and Josh, walked into Jack's gym one day. Mostly kids that come in this gym are street kids. I'm not going to hurt you. Many of them have been uh, born into poverty. They have had it as worse as any other kid that's ever lived in the city of Pittsburgh, living conditions-wise. And that just... I had enough of it. That's it. So Mook, a lifelong bachelor, decided Come on, guys. to adopt the boys. Aww. You're Mook, right? You happy? Now, not long after that, a marriage and three more stepchildren. It's awesome. It's the best thing I ever did in my life. Deep breath. But that's just part of the story. Let's get back in the gym. I myself, I enjoy taking people in that need guidance and maybe just an extra, you know, a hand in this boxing world. And that brings us to Apollo Sidnor, a former Golden Gloves boxing champion from New York City. I'm going pro. It's my first time uh, back in the ring in over uh, two years. Now, everybody in the fight game seems to have an interesting backstory. <laughs> Apollo is no exception. Kind of like one of those like blurs where I don't really even know exactly what was going on. That's Apollo. When new to Pittsburgh back in 2014, he was working at the 7-Eleven when police say Leverett Johnson decided to walk in and try to rob the place. That guy right there picked the wrong store and the wrong guy to walk into that night. Apollo has incredibly quick hands and Lev Red Johnson found out firsthand. Yeah, he got slammed. He wasn't trying to do too much after that. <laughs> when not knocking out armed assailants, Sidnor trained. Up. <laughs> and trained his eyes <laughs> on the prize. It's time to go pro, it's time for the money. Let's stay low. And for that, he went to Jack Mook. One day I was working here at the gym, Apollo walked in. I chose a man who was willing to work with my style, and work with me, my availability and everything, and Jack was just the perfect mix. He says, you know who I am? And I'm like, yeah, you, you're a winner. And he said, well, I'm looking for a trainer. You can say we took him in, this is his home now. So the former bachelor slash retired police detective Still turned family man <laughs> and the convenience store knockout artist went to work together. And we just hit it off. And he spoke to me about how he wanted to turn pro. I said, let's take, you know, take it slow. Slow at first. He's Elbows in. always on me, there but you never, ever easy. So when you explode, pop, pop, pop. Oh, that's exhausting. <laughs> Constant bag work, focus. Watching from ringside, Apollo Sidnor's girlfriend and rock, Julie Shedrick. Oh yeah, that's that's my sweetheart. I try to stay here to motivate him throughout all of that, even when I'm tired. Apollo, good morning. Now Shedrick's weariness oh, certainly understandable, considering that Apollo's corner is about to get a little more crowded. So I am six months pregnant with twins. <laughs> Nothing is simple about Apollo's boxing dream: a family, <laughs> training, job. Apollo, you ready? All right, let's go. But this interesting trio, a mother-to-be, a tough-as-steel former cop-turned-trainer, and a determined young man are one when it comes to Apollo's pugilistic dreams inside the squared circle. He's a very hard worker. He goes for what he wants, and he's very ambitious. Oh, that's good. Real good. If he keeps working hard like he does, I see him having a promising career. My dream is to be a great father to my twins that are on the way in December. My boxing dream, honestly, I'm just gonna try as hard as I can. Good work. Make Jack proud of me. Just make everybody understand that I'm trying, I'm trying very hard, and uh, any fight with me, you're gonna know you're in a fight. In Pittsburgh. That was beautiful. Ross Gadotti, KDKA-TV News. F